Make it quick. So, I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too. Watch your back. Make it quick. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. There's a whole uncracked arc just sitting here. Problem is, these assholes shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. Thinking. See, I, I, I was thinking of a new kind of injection system. They're percolating up here in the block for days now. I'm on the verge of something. Gonna make me one rich ass rich, Jackie. Uh, oh, yeah, you're here. That's right. Uh, you wanted something? Oh. Mode 
initiated. Laguni, Swamp City. Let's see if I can find anything about Dr. Fossier here. Ranger, we fought. Anything else you can tell me? I gotta head out. Back to back. I know there's still much left to do, but your actions have helped many and allowed us to get even more projects available. Keep it up.
here. Systems activating. Walker, Dr. Kvasir is still out there, and we have to find him. looking place. Yeah, things ain't Vineland safe no more. Go in prepared, Walker. Good luck out there. Pretty much what's left of it. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original archist, pre-Apophis. They said he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. Not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's an impressive setup, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Legs. <clears throat> my research used to be more mechanically inclined, 
But over time, the machine, as it turns out, failed. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my ARC mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Mm -hmm. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead. Oh no. She was... formidable. I was always hoping to... But, alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns and huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Crowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted a nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Uh, yes, it can. Better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15, still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Eco-Pod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. Remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yes. Wait a minute, you knew I was gonna volunteer to do it, right? Yes. Systems activating.
Another bandit pit stop. Doctor, I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes. It might be overrun by road scum, come to think of it. But that would be no problem for a ranger. No problem at all. Destination reached. Doctor, I made it to the Space Center. It's in ruins and, like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. Wow, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you full access. Hey, Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. I have it almost. I almost had it. Just give me a few more minutes.
President, I like the sound of that. Ah, yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access, President. The Ecopod mission control is on the third floor. Still running, so far so good. This 
Better work. Here we are. You have found it. Turn it on and let me handle the rest. That big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. It's all powered up. Everything seems to be in working order. Fantastic. The Dagger Project will now... I am getting a reading from outside the Ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them. Just like the doc said, authority mutants shouldn't be a problem. Good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger. Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Plus, plus, I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how you say, kick the authorities' butt? Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs>